subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. Okay, our bones, our backbone barracuda. Amazing amount of meat on it. Yes. So we, that's also olive oil. Mm, Can you make it super burnt this time? Yesterday you didn't make it as burnt. Okay. So this is like a um, lunch or even dinner, the backbone. So we try not to waste anything and it's yummy. These are now cooked. Three minutes one side, two minutes the other. Ew, this is, I love them. A little bit hotter than normal because that's how Christine wanted it. Ah, I have to, ah, stay away from the fire. I cook the tail too. Yes. Unless you want to save it for the shark. No. The tail's just the last little bit we can eat. Delicious. Now we can. So, super crunchy. Barracuda spine, stir fry, and chilled white wine. What a yummy lunch. Thank you, Paul. And let's dig in. Let's taste the. Look at how. Ooh, crispy. Ooh, super hot. Mmm. Paul? Mm -hmm. oh. Delightful. Super crispy. That's a wrap, folks. Look at all mm -hmm. the bones. That's a wrap, all right. <laughs> Yummy. I want more. Gonna go fishing again. Only that, Paul's gonna feed the fish. So we eat almost everything except eyeballs and fish head. Sometimes I make fish head soup. But see, everything goes to good use on the boat. Just grab him. Ah. I don't want you to post him, I'll get done Just to grab him. No, there's not much meat on him. So, we should try. I reckon they're actually quite cute, except when they bite you. Is this the one that attacked us? Yeah. I thought it was smaller, the one that attacked us. Oh, bite him! Teach him! Ah! Teach him! <laughs> Pat Phil said, ah! Stop! <laughs> Let him go inside the cab. <laughs> no, he's gonna poop all over the place. He has sharp feet. Hey, he's gonna bite me. <laughs> Stop! Okay, I'm filming it. Go. Okay, he's attacking Paul now. This one, let me go closer. Paul's dream is to have a lot of exotic pets. He's my friend. <laughs> Lenny, remember? He's soft. Paul doesn't know the grapes of oh, that's not the grapes. It's of mice and men. Of mice and men. Babe? 
How about doing some chores? <laughs> oh, let's leave my friend. <laughs> Just leave him on the bow. I'm sure he's not going to go anywhere. Did he eat the fish food? No. Hey, some cubby holes would be nice. Bye-bye, bird friend. Where's our one-legged friend? No. Hey, don't take him inside. Different breed. So, what are you doing? Um, Holding his wings in carefully. Oh, I thought you were going to break his neck. No. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, do it like outside. Right. Hey, let's not let him shit all over the place. Oh, he's already shit out there. Yeah, go so inside. That's a, that's a different breed. Asians, I eat everything. Feel the meat in him. There's not much meat in him. It's like quail. Quail is much smaller. Here's the surf stop. Yep. Well, this one is more peaceful. Oh, look at his rubbing feet. We could do like um, a study of sea He's got lice. Ew. That's not lice. He pooped on you. No, lice. I had crawlies. Really? Look, look at that. Look, right there. See that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let him go. Let him go. Bye, you flea-infested bird. We don't want you on the boat. Oh, he's coming back. Gross! Okay, you're quarantined. You're going to spend the night outside. So there's our one-legged, dark brown to the left bird friend. And the one to the right was the one that tried to attack me and Paul while we were um, finished with our scuba dive. And Paul made friends with him. And look, they're like homies now, mates. But Paul usually don't let birds roost on the bow because they just poop all over the place. But he let the brown one stay yesterday and today the white one. And guess what? There were more on the boat. They're just circling the bow. And that brown one he caught. One late seabird loose. That's two more. That's four. Here's mate, the one that uh, attacked us earlier. That's five. And our one legged friend. But sometimes the two legged variety comes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six seabirds of different species and types and pipes roosting on the bow of our boat. Um, so they're pooping all over the place, so tomorrow Paul will clean that up. And look at hobo rat washing. Yesterday rained a lot, so we got water in our kayak. So we just put a little detergent and letting things swish back and forth. And look at the sky. Yeah, we're getting rollers. So, we're like a chicken coop. Ooh, that was a beautiful one. Ooh, that was a beautiful one. Stormy, the low front came in early. They get the rain. Ooh, it's cold. So not a lot of protection in the middle of the reef, of course. Ooh, look at all the water we collected. Ooh. 
And then all our gear is rinsed out. Emergency. Ooh. Get all the buckets. Yeah. So now I'm going to go up front to show Paul where the anchor is so he can get us out of here. So not a good day to dive. It's sort of cold. A lot of big swells. It's don't, don't, don't. And I think um, our anchor was wrapped around and balmy. So, okay. I'm going to go up front and take a shower. A cold Viking brisk shower. Now that's a dead bird. Huh. That's not a good sign. Okay. No worries, what I'm doing. I don't know. Yep. Can, um, should we keep him and eat him? Or? No, I don't know. Bye bye seabird. Rest in peace. That's a gift to Poseidon. Ooh, it's getting brisk. Look at what Paul is wearing. Full clothes. And this one, I just had my shower. So I'm going to go in to hide under the blankets. He calls for help. So on YouTube, I have been shut down and all my channels, maybe six, seven. I, me and my helper, we just can't stay open. Even though I promote and advocate non-sexual nudity and naturism. But for some reason, we get uh, people complain and we've been shut down maybe seven or eight times. So now we're just going to focus for YouTube traveling and sailing. Just to share that side of my life. So, and a lot of pictures you're not seeing the full pictures because my passion and hobby is to promote non-sexual naturism. So if you want to see more pictures like uncensored, go to Vimeo. It's free.